Hello everyone. Let's take another uh, language and for, let's design the DFA for the same. So the, the language is saying that I have uh, the alphabet set AB. It means that uh, the strings of this language will contain only AB. And uh, the strings in this language starts and ends with A. So what are the strings that starts with A and ends with A? Obviously, small A will be the part of that. Because the small a is also means if I take a single length string a, so this is starts with a and ends with a. And now uh, if I take uh, a b a, that should also be acceptable. And then if I take uh, triple a, so that will also be acceptable. If I take a b b a, so that will also be acceptable. So I hope you are understanding that this is the language set. So now uh, if I have to design the DFA for this, so the smallest string which is getting accepted by this is small a. So my automata should contain uh, or should accept the string small a only. So if I get a small a, I will move to a state. Let's say this is the final state. I'll name it later. So now in the uh, starting, if I get an a, I move to a state which is a final state. If I get a B after this, so I should move to the starting state. And if I get an A after this, I'll again reach to the, or move to the final state. Now, after getting an A, if I again get an A, so I should stay in the final state because if I have three A's, so with one A, I move to the, move to the final state. And with another A, I should remain at the final state. With the next A also, I should remain at the final state. So this is the automata, and uh, but but we have not shown uh, the transition of uh, B from the initial state. So let's first name all these states. So let's say this is the Q0 state and this is the Q1 state. So at the Q0 state, if I get a B, I should move to the dead state because the uh, language starts with A and ends with A. If it starts with B, this is not the desired case. So at the dead state, if you get an A or B, that does not matter. You should stay at the dead state only. So this is the string that uh, starts with A and ends with A. Now, similarly, I can design a string or uh, a DFA for the language that starts with B and uh, ends with B. So it starts with B and ends with B. This will be designed in the similar way as we have designed it for the start and ending with A. So if I get a B, I should move to the next state and this will be the final state because the smallest string that will get accepted in this language will be small b. If I get an A, I should move to the Q0 state so that if I get another B, I should move to the final state. In the final state, if I get another B, I should stay in the final state. It will be in the loop because uh, if any number of Bs are coming, that will be in the final state only. If I get uh, A initially or in the start itself, so that string cannot be accepted. So let's say it is moving to the dead state. And in the dead state, if I get an A or B, I should remain in the dead state. So this is the automata for the string that uh, starts with B and ends with B. So uh, these are the two uh, very simple ones. Let's uh, extend it further. And let's say uh, there is a language which says that uh, W, where W is element of AB star and uh, W starts with A and ends with B. So this is also going to be a very simple one, but yes, with the instinct, we will design, we'll try to design this. So from the Q0 state, if I get an A, I should move to the Q1 state. So first, let's say we're forming the language with the strings. So the smallest string that will be accepted with this will be AB because AB string starts with A and ends with B. Another string which is acceptable is AAB. This is starts with A and ends with B. Another one can be ABB that starts with A and ends with B. 
another string can be double A, double B. So it starts with A and ends with B and so on and so forth. This will be the infinite language. So with A, I move to the Q1 state. With B, I should move to the Q2 state, which is the final state. In this case, this is the final state. The Q2 is the final state. Now let's say I have a string A, A, B. So I already have got A. If I get another A, I should stay in the Q1 state. And if I get a B after this, I should move to the Q2 state. Now, if I get the B in the final state, I should remain in the final state because uh, as a string just make A, B, B hoga, to ye bhi to end hoga B se. A, K, B se aap already Q2 state mein move kar gaye. But agar ek B or aata hai, to aapko final state Q2 mein hi rana padega. Now, agar maal lije ki aapko ek A milta hai, to aap Q1 state mein move kar jaye. हो सकता है कि बाद में आपको फिर से एक बी मिल जाए फॉर एग्जांपल मेरे पास अगर एक स्ट्रिंग है ए बी ए बी सो इस केस में ए के से आप मूव करेंगे क्यू वन स्टेट में एंड अदर बी से आप मूव करेंगे क्यू टू स्टेट में ए से आप क्यू वन स्टेट में अगेन मूव करेंगे और बी से आपको फाइनली क्यू टू स्टेट में मूव करना चाहिए क्योंकि ये स्ट्रिंग ए से स्टार्ट होके बी पे एंड हो गई इसीलिए मैंने एक ट्रांजेक्शन दिखाया जो कि क्यू टू स्टेट से Q1 स्टेट में मूव कर रहा है अगर मुझे A मिलता है सो वी हैव सीन बोथ द ट्रांजिशन मीन्स द A एंड B बोथ से Q1 और Q2 टू से हमने ट्रांजिशन देखा लेकिन मान लीजिए कि अगर स्टार्ट में Q0 स्टेट में ही मुझे B मिल जाता है सो आई शुड रिमेन एट द डेड स्टेट इट मीन्स आई शुड मूव टू द डेड स्टेट नॉट रिमेन एंड इफ आई गेट A और B इन द डेड स्टेट डजेंट मैटर आई विल रिमेन एट दी डेड स्टेट ओनली So we have seen the accepting strings. Let's take another string which can be rejected by this. For example, if I have a string, let's say B A. So on Q zero, if you get a B, you will move to the dead state Q three. If you get another A, you should stay at the Q three state only, which is not the final state. We can take any string that starts with A. So that starts with A, but does not end with A. So Triple A B A. So with the Q zero on A, you move to Q one state. With A, you remain at Q one. With another A, you remain at Q one. With B, you move to Q two state. But with another A, you will come to the Q one state, which is not the final state. So this string will be rejected. So we have seen the uh, examples of uh, the string that starts with A and ends with B. Similarly, you can design an automata that starts with B and ends with A in the similar way. So, the language that we we are taking is W, where W is element of A B star, where W starts with B and ends with A. Fine. So, you can design this automata very easily. Let's take a Q zero state. On getting a B, you should move to a Q one state, and on getting an A, you should move to the final state, which is Q two. So the smallest string that is going to be accepted is B A. After getting a one B, if you get more number of the Bs, you should stay at Q one state itself. After getting an A, if you get more number of the As, you should stay at the Q two state. But at the Q two state, if you get a B, you should move to Q one state. हो सकता है कि बाद में फिर से एक ए मिल जाए क्योंकि मेरी स्ट्रिंग ए से एंड होनी चाहिए स्टार्टिंग में ही अगर आपको क्यू जीरो स्टेट में अगर ए मिल जाता है सो so ये स्ट्रिंग कभी भी एक्सेप्ट नहीं होगी सो वी शुड मूव टू द डेड स्टेट एंड इफ यू आर इन द डेड स्टेट अगर आई गेट ए और बी दैट विल बी रिमेनिंग इन द डेड स्टेट इज सो दिस वॉज दटोमेटा फॉर द स्ट्रिंग्स विच आर स्टार्टिंग विद ए एंड एंडिंग विद बी and this is the automata which is starting with b and ending with a so this was very simple to design it just uh, we had to change a with b in the earlier automata and this this becomes the automata for the given language so i hope you must have understood something and we'll meet with the more examples on the dfa in the next lecture thanks for watching